Day number four of our trip. Yesterday was Edinburgh. Today is sea day. So today the seas are perfectly flat again. Nothing out in the water but a few oil wells way off in the distance. And it's a calm, peaceful day today. Nothing bad with today. Temperature? It's probably in the high 60s. So it's not exactly warm, but it's not cold. I'm out in shorts and a t-shirt. And right now I'm okay, even in the breeze. So today, a good sea day. And manning to the towel station today is a bunch of our towel-y friends. All manning the towel stations. These are all towels the crew has folded up and they're all different And we are in the North Sea today, en route to Copenhagen, Denmark. And seeing it's a sea day, we'll have the expanded activities today on what's happening. I always show the pool in the morning because water is always level. It's always perfectly level. So any waves or movement on the ship would be reflected in the pool. But today, the pool is flat. And on this morning's walkabout, I've met our employee of the day, Alexis. He was out manning the pool. Even though nobody was out there, they always have a lifeguard on duty. And like the sentinel standing on duty above the pool, today... You see, it's a perfectly calm day. And of course, our employee of the day over there is also watching guard over the legend. Like I say, it's fairly cool out here today, so he may not have any kids in the pool, but you never know. Some may show up later. And seeing we are English this trip, we may as well start off the morning right with a cup of hot tea. And one of the things you'll see Cheryl and I attend on every trip that we go on is the Heroes Tribute. This is for all the veterans who are on the ship. They have a little ceremony for them. They'll begin by singing the National Anthem and then recognize every soldier from every branch and every war that's on the ship. And they're always looking for World War II veterans, but there are fewer and fewer of those. But they're happy to pay tribute to every veteran of every war. Cheryl and I's parents both were in the military, so we pay tribute to them.
Bryant's hopes you may be seated at this Every branch of service has their alma mater played. All the words are written on the screen, but me, I didn't remember all of the words for all of them. So, we have the Air Force that we knew the best, so that was the best one for us to see. And the only reason I knew the Air Force? Well, that's what she branch of service that Cheryl's dad was in, the U.S. Air Force. And after a tribute to all the soldiers in the audience, a special tribute was made for all those who weren't in the audience and may not have made it home. Thank you. Now we have already covered 270 nautical miles and we still have 310 nautical miles more to reach Copenhagen. The wind is blowing from northwest at 20 knots and we have waves coming from northwest, about 2-3 uh, feet high waves. The sea depth of the ocean at our current location is about 195 feet. And the weather forecast for this afternoon is partial cloudy sky and temperature 60 degrees Fahrenheit. To pour tomorrow the weather expected in Copenhagen is partial cloudy sky and temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Why we want everyone to have fun? We also want you to be safe. So always remember to hold and raise while walking around. Watch your step and do look out for moving doors. Thank you for your kind attention. Have a great day. And with that bit of information, it's time for the noontime dinner. Today, Guy's Burger and Cookies. This is the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. It's always neat looking at these, this class of ship, because this is the only class of ship where that the base of the funnel, and that's what you see in all red, right here is the base of the carnival funnel. But seeing it's red glass, it makes the interior of the ship glow pink. So sitting around, you see the pink color everywhere. This is Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. And I think it's about $59 a person, $49, $59 a person for the steakhouse. And if you come on the first night, they give you a free bottle of wine. So that's something to think about if you plan on going to the steakhouse. First night, free bottle of wine. And these ladies played in the atrium every night. Everything from classical tunes to modern tunes. Everything in between. And today we had a low-flying military aircraft pass by the ship. You don't see that too often. This is one of the nightclubs on the ship, Medusa's Lair. So all around is Medusa, the Greek god. And we were thinking about this. But this used to be a two-story nightclub. At one time it was an upper floor and a lower floor, but now it's just one story. All the chairs and the windows on the sides. And 
and the seas in the North Sea are building somewhat. It's still not big, but we're getting a little bit of a bounce out of them. And this is one of the least visited places on the ship, the forest, but not any forest. This is the enchanted forest running down the side of the ship. There's never anybody in this area. And it runs all the way down both sides of the front of the ship. And you might be able to hear also the uh, showroom right next to us. So we're running right next to the showroom at the very front of the ship. But if you're looking for a quiet place, it's definitely quiet. And I found a duck. What luck. Here, a little micro duck found up in the air of the elevators. So whoever hit him, thank you. We're going to rehide him. And with that luck, it's dinner time. Tonight in the main dining room. And as luck would have it also, they changed around the menu a little bit, but I actually found the menu that we had tonight on another day. So we had to just rotate them around a little bit. And apparently that's what they're doing on this ship, finding out what's fresh and which will wait a little while longer before they serve and serving it up. But tonight's menu was excellent. I enjoyed everything I had. I forgot to take pictures of the appetizers, but we pretty much knew what we had there, and we have it pretty much every night if they have it. I had the Caesar salad, and Cheryl had the Greek salad. For the main, I had the swordfish filet, and Cheryl had her favorite, which is turkey. Any night there's turkey, she's having it. And tonight, she took my typical dessert, the caramel melting cake Mickey Mouse style. But that's okay. I had the bitter and blanc, and it was excellent also. And when we arrived back at the room, we had this crab-looking friend in bed. And the string ladies had an appropriate song for the night because outside on the decks, it's cold. So, yeah, perfect song for this. And as the sun has set on another exciting day, you can see the sun down and all the fishing boats in the background. That's just the sunset. You look off a little ways the other direction, the coastline of Denmark, and all the fishing boats on this side with the lights on. And in case you're wondering what time it is, I don't know if I could my watch probably won't show on here but it's 10 15 at night so 10 15 at night and it's still light enough to walk around and not need any uh, external light good night from day number four we'll see you again tomorrow in copenhagen denmark and today was the second of a total of four sea days on this trip so we got to show you around the ship a little bit and hopefully you liked everything and if so can we go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when each video comes out and thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon